Welcome back to The Ed Show. And finally tonight, the environment is the key issue for progressives right now in this country with Keystone. Hillary Clinton seems to be lacking in definition on the Keystone XL pipeline project. Earlier this week at a League of Conser Conservation Voters fundraiser, Clinton addressed the need for change. However, she notably avoided specifics. Our economy still run primarily on fossil fuels and trying to change that will require strong leadership and intense cooperation. We do not have to choose between a healthy environment and a healthy economy. From President Obama's point of view, developments are moving in the right direction. The agreement the President of the United States struck with China to double the pace of America's greenhouse gas reductions guarantees the environment will be a campaign issue in 2016. As I see it, if Hillary Clinton wants the support from the Democratic base who's concerned about the environment, she needs to be just as committed to helping the environment as she was to helping for health care. Keeping quiet on the Keystone XL project isn't going to win any friends in the environmental community, and giving us generic political talk I don't think is going to cut it. Liberals are determined to address climate change in the next election cycle. I don't see how Hillary Clinton can keep going on dodging her position, if she has one, on the Keystone XL project. Joining me tonight, Tiernan Settenfeld, who is a senior vice president for government affairs for the League of Conservation Voters. Tiernan, good to have you with us tonight. Hi, it Ed, seems to me that with so much information that has been out there on Keystone, you're either with us or you're against us. You're either for it or you're against it. Why is uh, the, the former S Secretary of State and former Senator and former First Lady, why, why is she finding it so hard to find her voice on this issue? Well, Ed, we were thrilled to have Secretary Clinton speak at our dinner in New York City on Monday night. And I think there has been a lot of attention to the things that she didn't say. And of course, as you know, LCV is very opposed to the dirty and dangerous Keystone XL tar sands pipeline. And we think the more people who come out against it, the better. But at the same time, we weren't necessarily expecting Secretary Clinton to talk about it on Monday. She's been clear that she thinks there's a process in place. And for us, the decision with, about Keystone remains where it belongs, which is with President Obama and Secretary Kerry. And we are more confident than ever that they're going to reject it. I think the thing that was exciting about the speech for us is that she really gave a powerful speech about the urgent need to address climate change. She called out climate change deniers. She gave a very um, strong defense of President Obama's climate action plan to cut coal power pollution or carbon pollution from coal burning power plants. So we were actually, I would say, quite pleased with the speech and very glad that she was there. Well, I'm not trying to get your organization to pick a fight with uh, Hillary Clinton, but I think it, it it's, needs to be profoundly pointed out that if you're concerned about the environment, how can you be for Keystone? Uh, it just I doesn't add up. Well, and actually, I think a lot of what she said made us even more encouraged, just like it does with President Obama. You're right. It doesn't make sense to be talking so much about the urgent need to address climate change, to be supporting efforts to cut power carbon pollution from coal burning power plants to support the incredible a a agreement with China to cut carbon pollution and then to turn around and take such a massive step backwards with something like the Keystone Pipeline. So again, I would say we are optimistic across the board that more and more of our leaders are recognizing that climate change is one of the defining challenges of our time, that it must be addressed, and that rejecting dirty fuels, including tar sands and the Keystone Pipeline specifically, is very much part of that solution. There is a chance that Keystone won't get approved, uh, and this could be a fight all the way to 2016. How can the environmental community trust Hillary Clinton now on the environment if she won't even say where she is on, on the most visible product that, project that's out there in front of the American people? I would say you're right. I think there's more of a, more than a chance that this will get rejected. I think we're going to clearly see the McConnell-led Senate try to push this through the Congress. But I think that we saw the Obama administration make pretty clear a couple of weeks ago that they would have vetoed that bill. Again, we think because of all the incredible leadership and progress that we're seeing on climate change from President Obama, I think the comments from Secretary Kerry were, or for Clinton were consistent with that. So we are yeah. optimistic. Tiernan Settenfeld, I appreciate your time tonight. Thanks so much. There are others who are thinking about running for president on the Democratic ticket who absolutely have no problem whatsoever saying they're against Keystone. Why can't Hillary Clinton? That's The Ed Show. I'm Ed Schultz, Politics Nation, with Reverend Al Sharpton starts right now. Good evening, Rev. Good 